Today we're going to have a look at how to install your backup server on Linux Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So your backup server is basically a free and open source solution that allows you to create and maintain backups for your data. So you can basically use it to maintain backups for things like uh, documents, videos, music, and you can even use it to maintain backups for things such as operating systems. So I'm going to show you step by step on how to set up your backup server on Ubuntu 22. So these are the things that I'm going to cover in this tutorial. I'm first going to show you how to download Linux Ubuntu from the official Ubuntu website and also how to create a virtual machine in VMware Fusion using the Ubuntu 22 image actually. And then second, I'm then going to show you how to connect to the Ubuntu virtual machine via SSH and to install system and package updates. Third, I'm then going to show you how to add the repository and install the your backup server software. And then finally, I'm then going to show you how to download and set up the your backup client so you can easily uh, create and maintain um, document level and image level backups. So let's get started with the setup process. All right, so open up a new browser window and run a simple Google search for Linux Ubuntu server. Click on the Get Ubuntu Server search result and then click on Download Ubuntu Server 22. So the download process should begin now. Once the download process is complete, uh, open uh, VMware Fusion and then open the Virtual Machine Creation Wizard. So you simply need to go to the folder where you've downloaded the Ubuntu image to and then drag the image over to the uh, virtual machine creation wizard. So click on continue and then select UEFI. Click on continue and then click on customize settings. So I'm going to set the name for the virtual machine to um, your backup virtual server. Some people call it URA backup, but I just prefer to call it uh, your backup. So select the network adapter and I'm just going to attach it to the private to my Mac um, interface and then close out of the settings page. So start the virtual machine and it should then boot up using the Ubuntu ISO image file that we've configured. The boot process can take up to a minute or so and you need to be a bit patient for the boot process to complete. But once it's done, you should now see the Linux Ubuntu installation wizard. So you just simply need to make the selections that you'd like on each prompt or you can just simply copy the selections that I'm making right up to the end of the installation wizard. So um, I'm going to set my name to administrator and I'm going to set the server's name to your backup uh, server. I'm going to set a username here. I'm just going to also set it to administrator and then I'm going to type in a secure password on the choose a password and confirm your password fields. So click on done and then select the install open SSH server option. So once you've uh, clicked on install, you should now see the installation process for the server. Um, so select the reboot option just to restart the uh, Linux Ubuntu server once the installation is complete. So I'm going to um, change the settings on the virtual machine I'm and I'm going to attach it to a network interface that actually has an internet connection. And finally, I'm just going to run a command to check the IP address for the server. So the IP address I'm getting here is, is a 0 0.103 um, address. I'm going to use that IP address to connect to the server. So type in the command SSH administrator at uh, 192.168.0.103 or whatever your server IP address is. Type in yes and then type in the server password that you set. So I've successfully now connected to the server via SSH. So run the command sudo su to change to the root user. And then I'm just going to clear out my screen. So um, the first command that I'm going to run is uh, apt update. So this command just simply installs some essential system updates that will be needed to complete this uh, tutorial. Once the update process is complete, I'm then going to paste in a command to install some essential dependencies. So you need to make sure you install these dependencies before you install the your backup uh, server package. Um, and once the uh, dependency installation process is complete, uh, 
I am then going to add the repository for installing your backup. So just copy and paste that command to add the repository. So um, once you've done that, you then need to run another, actually let me reboot the server so that the changes will actually take effect. So um, once it's restarted, I'm going to reconnect to the server and then run the command uh, sudo su once again. So this is just uh, going to elevate my access rights to the root user account. Um, and then run the command uh, sudo apt um, install uh, your backup uh, server. Okay, so if you just uh, type in that command, you should then see the your backup uh, server installation process now in progress. So it can take uh, quite a bit to install. It just depends on the performance of your internet connection. But uh, once the installation is process is complete, you then need to select a path for where to save all of the backups that are going to be generated by the server software. And then once that's done, I'm then going to check the status of the server. And as you can see, it's actually marked as active and running. And then finally, I'm going to run a command to check if your backup is listening on port 55414 and 55413. So I'm going to set a static IP address on the server. So you just need to edit the um, uh, installer config.yaml file, which is located in the etc net plan directory. So you just need to make sure you set a static IP address for the server so that each time you want to access the server, you know you're actually going to access it using a particular IP address. So you just need to press Control O and then press enter and then press control X to exit out of the file. But I think I made a mistake here. So let me just make a correction on the config file on the name service parameter actually. And then once that's done, you can then run the command sudo uh, net plan apply. So I've actually set a uh, static IP address on the server. So I'm just going to reconnect to the server just to test to make sure that everything is still good. And uh, as you can see, I've actually successfully connected to the server via SSH. Um, so the next thing that I'm actually going to do is I'm going to open up my host configuration file on my MacBook. So just run the command sudo su and then type in um, nano etc hosts. So in the host configuration file, I'm going to add an entry. So I'm just going to type in 192.168.0.103. And I'm going to point that to um, your backup server.local so that if someone wants to access the system, they can just simply type in uh, your backup server.local. So uh, save and close out of that file and then open up a new browser window. So type in HTTP your backup server dot local and then type in the port number five five four one four. So as you can see, I've accessed the your backup uh, dashboard. So click on settings and then click on uh, users. So click create user and I'm just going to set the username to administrator. I'm also going to type in a secure password on the password and repeat repeat password field and then click on um, create. Okay, so I've successfully created a user that will be used to access the system. So if you refresh the page, you just need to type in the password that you've set and then click on login. Um, so click on uh, add new client and I'm going to set the name of the client to um, Windows Server. I'm going to check the IP address for the client. So let me just uh, open up the Windows Server virtual machine and just run the command uh, IP config. So that should then return the IP address on the Windows client. Um, so once that's done, I'm going to return back to the your backup uh, dashboard and I'm going to type in the IP address for the Windows Server. So that's going to be 192.168.0.101. So if you click on add client, you will see a page showing you uh, some information on how to connect the client. So I'm going to click on download pre-configured client installer for Windows. And then uh, I'm going to drag the client uh, installation file over to the software's directory on my MacBook. 
So I'm going to go into the Windows Server uh, virtual machine and I'd already pre-configured a shared folder on the virtual machine. So I'm going to open up that shared folder and I'm going to copy the installation file um, over to the desktop. Okay, so you just need to double click on the installation file and then click on next. Click on I agree and then click on install. So that should then go through to install the backup client onto the Windows Server. So you just need to make selections for your document and image level backups. And once that's done, you should now see information uh, regarding the backup status for the Windows Server. So let me just uh, refresh my page. And I'm just going to log in using the uh, credentials that I configured earlier. And as you can see, the image backup is actually still in progress. So that's been it, guys. That's a quick look at how you can set up your backup server on a Linux Ubuntu 22.04 LTS server. Please consider to like and subscribe to the channel. And please also share this video with your peers, colleagues, and friends. I hope this tutorial has been informative. And I'd like to thank you for viewing.